Welcome once again to Public Affairs. This is your host, Awi Abayari from International News Media. Our special guest is a well-known celebrity performer. She's a professor of music and voice, multi-awarded. She's also a composer. And now she's giving you a sample of the brief uh, beginner's lesson. When a student comes in, what do you tell them? Okay, if a student comes in, let her sit down first on the piano. And uh, I tell her to sit tall, of course, so that the position is right. It's, it's correct right away. And then I introduce the keyboard. I say, these are the white keys, these are the black keys. But first of all, we use the white keys. We don't, we don't touch the black keys first because we are still a beginner. We start from Do, from the middle C. This is the Do, middle C. And the Do comes before the two black keys, okay? So this is Do. So she plays the Do with the thumb. And then I tell her to have the finger position as if you are holding a ball. I say, holding a ball and then put your fingers on top on the keys as if you're holding the ball and then so they do that they curve their fingers round knuckles i say you have to have round knuckles and they position their fingers on the keyboard like this and sometimes you know how we mm-hmm. they, they their fingers are so stiff <laughs> because it's the first time yeah. <laughs> For the first week, for example, if they come for the first lesson in one week, that's what they learn, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. They will learn finger position, how to play, uh, and and, uh, get acquainted with their keyboard. Yes, that's right. So in one month, in one month, what would they have learned already? For the fast learners, they can they can read the notes. Mm-hmm. 
not already do already fast. I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I always uh, hate it that they you know how to play first before I teach the notes. Right. Well, what pieces can they play? The beginners, what types of pieces can they play, for example? Aside from um, the three blind mice. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, we have the book that I... I recommend mm -hmm. I have the level one book and uh, they start from there they start reading from from that book level one mm -hmm. I teach them how to how to read the notes by saying by introducing again when you open your book I say this is the these are the notes and this is the D clef, bass clef, something like that. Mm -hmm. D clef, we start with the G clef first before we, we do the bass clef. Mm -hmm. Right hand first. It takes time to teach them the right hand at first. And then, and then uh, the left hand comes later. I see. So first the beginner will learn using the right hand. And yes, yes, in the right later. Hand. Because uh -huh. Yeah, because the notes on the right hand are different from the notes from the bass clef. So what happens when a person, an individual, is left-handed? Left-handed? I've never come across a student like that. Oh, really? I don't know. Oh, wow. I don't know. I never came. Oh, so uh, there must be a solution to that, right? If a person then yeah. one starts with, they're yeah. more comfortable with the left hand. Yeah, that will be the idea. I should think about something. So like that means, yeah, they will use the right hand then. Well, uh, if they're ambidextrous, oh. they use both, then they can start with the right hand. But if they're just left-handed, and I'm sure there are many. There are some people who are left-handed. In my yeah. family, for instance, there are many who are left-handed, but they were able to learn to use both hands. Maybe, yeah, maybe they, they can do the... The regular thing, even if they're left-handed, you right. can, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. That's not a problem, I think. That's right. I'm sure, you know, nowadays with the uh, technology and uh, what we know in music, everything is possible. We're talking to mm -hmm. Juliet Posadas on Public Affairs on Music Segment with Aubrey Bayari. Hold on.